Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today, my topic is digital certificate. Before I explain digital certificate, we need to understand how digital signature works and find out the weakness with the digital signature. And thus, we could understand why digital certificate is necessary. The following example demonstrates. How digital signature works. Here is the scenario. Bob wants to send a digitally signed message to Alice. First, Bob creates a pair of keys, public key and a private key. He keeps his private key and put his public key in a public place. Then Bob creates his message. And uses his private key to sign the message, and sends them to Alice. When Alice gets Bob's digitally signed message, she goes to get his public key, and she uses it to verify Bob's digital signature. If Alice verifies the Bob's digital signature with his Public key, she has reason to believe the message was created and sent by Bob, and his message was not altered in transit. I have one video about digital signature. It shows how it works in detail. I put its link below. If you want to fully understand digital signature, you can watch that video first. Otherwise, please continue. As we look at the example, how digital signature was created and how it was verified, we find out there's one big problem. Let's look at this example again. First, Bob creates a pair of key, public key and private key. He keeps his private key. And put his public key in a public place. Then Bob creates his message, and uses his private key to digitally sign the message and sends them to Alice. Now the problem. Suppose a hacker intercepts Bob's digitally signed message. The hacker simply throws them away. And creates a whole new package. He creates his own public key and private key, and put his own public key in public place. Just like Bob, the hacker creates a totally different message, and creates the hacker's own signature with his own private key. The hacker sends them to Alice. He tells Alice, "This is Bob. Please go to get my public key so that you can verify my digital signature and my digitally signed message." Alice gets hacker's public key and uses it to verify hacker's signature, and of course, everything would work fine. But Alice has no idea about the true identity of the sender because anyone can pretend to be Bob. Therefore, there is one weakness in digital signature: lack of authentication. Digital signature itself does not verify true identity of the sender and his public key. The solution is. Digital certificate. Digital certificates are electronic credentials issued by trusted third party. A digital certificate not only verifies the identity of the owner, but also verifies the owner owns the public key. Use the same scenario as an example. When Bob sends public key to Alice, he does not ask her to retrieve his public key from a central site. Instead, 
Bob attaches a digital certificate to his public key and sends them to Alice together with his digitally signed message. So, what's the information is contained in a digital certificate? It typically includes items such as certificate owner's name, owner's public key and expiration date, the digital certificate issue's name, the certificate issue's digital signature, and so on. Alice would check all this information on certificate, and since she trusts a third party, she would trust the digital certificate. Alice can safely assume that the public key contained in a digital certificate is actually from Bob, not anyone else, thus preventing man in the middle attack. Keep in mind, digital certificate is based on trust. The trusted third party is a certificate authority an entity that issues digital certificates. Like in real life, you believe my passport can verify my identity simply because you trust my passport's issuer. Another analogy in life, when we sign a very important contract, we need a public notary, such as bank, to verify the identity of the signer signing the paper, witnesses the signatures and marks the document with stamp or seal. A notary is supposed to ensure all signatures on a document are legitimate, so is a digital certificate. In summary, digital certificate is based on trust or chain of trust. It verifies the identity of the public key owner. In other words, it verifies the digital signature is truly signed by the claimed signer. And thank you very much, and see you next time.